Well, after three decades in public office and two terms as Missouri governor, Jay Nixon is now reflecting on the moments that will shape his legacy. One of those is, of course, his response to the rioting in Ferguson. Yesterday, I sat down with the governor and asked, would he have done anything differently? I was not going to order American soldiers on American soil to lower their guns and point them at American unarmed citizens. I wasn't going to do it. Certainly there was some property damage we wish wouldn't have happened and we've worked hard to make sure it's cleaned up. But when you compare that to what might have happened <coughs> had we had yet another gunfight in the streets, uh, one with the military, doing a military <laughs> action with guns against unarmed or, you know, American citizens. To me, uh, I think that uh, I'm really uh, excited that the region here has embraced the challenge of Ferguson. The Ferguson Commission laid out a path work forward. Ferguson Forward's doing some great things. We have changed our municipal court system. Kids are getting jobs in the summer. The schools are getting reaccredited. The bottom line is, while it's a long, hard path, we're working on the path to progress. Before everything happened with Ferguson, you were kind of rising nationally in the political scene. That did change a bit after Ferguson. Um, why do you think that was? History has placed me in some difficult positions. I mean, as Attorney General, we were, I was in charge of bringing to an end the desegregation cases in St. Louis and Kansas City. Also, a very charged situation. You know, when you talk about schools and race and kids and all that sort of stuff. So history has, has put me, shall we say, um, in my times of service in some of these vortexes. And you can see more of our interview with Governor Nixon throughout the morning. In 30 minutes, he talks about his relationship with Governor-elect Eric Greitens and whether or not you'll see him again running for public office. As the Trump transition to the White House continues, so does Missouri Governor-elect Eric Greitens. Yesterday, I had the chance to sit down with current Chief of Missouri, Governor Jay Nixon. We talked about his legacy and this time of transition. But the governor's office did obviously turn over to a Republican. Right. What uh, has that transition been like? Have you been in contact with Governor-elect Greitens? Absolutely. We've spent a lot of time together. Um, met with him two days after the election. Uh, we hosted he and Sheena at the mansion there, so they begin to feel what that's like. Georgiana had a separate uh, three or four hour thing. I mean, she needs to understand that house and how it's going to work with young kids and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Eric and I have had a number of sessions. Most of them go a few hours just working through various issues. Uh, we're going to be a very, uh, it's going to be a very smooth transition. But also, I've committed to him that I'm not going to be somebody who stands out in public and criticizes the governor. It's a hard job. Will you really stay out of public office, or you think you'll be drawn <clears throat> back in? Once you get this informed and this opinionated, there's always going to have to be some sort of outlet <laughs> for, uh, um, um, for, for the passions you have. You know, and, and so I think the real key for me is to choose some areas where I can be impactful on the policy side uh, and use my experience to, to move the, the state, the region, and the country forward. Uh, I do think I have some very uh, significant experience and capacity still, um, but I don't want people to think, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to run for the Senate and I'm not going to be a lobbyist. So uh, the bottom line is, I, will I stay active in, in public affairs? Yeah. And still ahead on News 4 this morning, we'll hear the governor's candid thoughts on President-elect Donald Trump and Republicans taking over state leadership. Plus, you can also watch that entire interview at KMOV.com. Missouri Governor Jay Nixon has less than two weeks left in office. The state he leaves behind looks a lot more red than it did throughout his tenure. I sat down with the governor yesterday, and here's what he had to say about this political shift in Missouri under his watch. The Senate... In the House in Missouri, they picked up no Republican seats. In fact, the last time there was a pickup, it was a Democrat seat on the Kansas City side for, uh, for the Democrats. Okay, so I, I, same as in Congress. Everybody says this huge, uh, uh, Democrats are in real trouble. Well, you picked up, the Democrats picked up seats in the Congress, in both the House and the Senate. I understand we don't run it. Believe me, I, understand, I can count. Uh, but the point is that this, I believe this was a Trump phenomenon based on anger and, and, and a lot of other issues and that our candidate didn't connect. I think there's a clear path forward for Democrats, especially especially here in the heartland. And you can hear my entire interview with the governor online is at KMOV.com. All right, well, after three decades in public office and two terms leading our state, Missouri Governor Jay Nixon is preparing to hand over the reins. I sat down with him to talk about the political shift across the country and here right in Missouri. Well, I wasn't surprised that Trump won Missouri. I mean, I, you could feel that out there and you felt a move late towards the towards the Republican side. I was hopeful that some of our candidates would survive, especially Custer and Kander. They didn't. That that is what it is. The people have spoken and and um, I'll work with with the new folks that are elected now and then when I'm a uh, former governor. 
but I do think that the the Trump thing kind of has has taken all the oxygen out of the out of the coverage. You know, it, it's what people are talking about, um, and uh, I'm hopeful that that he will make the changes in his personal style and discipline to be a good president. Um, to date, I've not yet seen that. That's why I was so upset that last year. And you can hear my entire interview with the governor online. It's at KMOV.com. Missouri Governor Jay Nixon has less than two weeks left in office. I sat down with him yesterday to reflect on the three decades he spent in government. What do you want your legacy to be in Missouri? Um, that it, Nixon came in and during challenging times moved the state forward. And especially when things like education and mental health. I mean, we're number one in the country keeping tuition down, 36% increase in four-year graduates, 44% increase in two-year graduates. Our mental health system is, is tremendously better than it was when, when I came in. And we managed all that during a fiscal meltdown. That's why I was so upset that last year. You can hear my entire interview with the governor online. It's posted on KMOV.com.